Well, hello everybody, Laguna back here for some more Talos Principle. Popping right back in where we left off in World... I think it was Hub 1-4? Or 1-5, whatever we left off at. There's like three more sections left of, the, of World A. And I'm assuming there's like a teleporter or something near the end. That'll just bring me somewhere. Uh, so yeah, we're on number five. Five. Where there's five blocks and two stars. Fuck, it's raining. Nice. Nice. I don't remember there ever being a rainy level in this game. This is... I kind of enjoy this. I love rain, by the way. Rain, wind, like all the storm. Oh, thunder. Oh, sorry, I got excited. Hoo hoo. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I haven't even had any coffee. Although, apparently, he does want chicken nuggets, so. Might get McDonald's. Pumpkin spice. Not too Friday. EL, short for Extended Lifespan, is a groundbreaking initiative by seven leading universities to create the world's most stable and most durable supercomputer. With its custom made hardware, bomb proof casing, and near inexhaustible hydroelectric power supply, EL represents a unique step forward in the evolution of human technology. The brainchild of Nobel Prize nominee Dr. Arkady Chernyshevsky. I like that they actually put in some like HTML code, like the AHREF. I actually started learning HTML recently, so it's really fun to see that that's in there. Consider issue 199. Alexander Drennan. Once a true artificial intelligence has been created, the issue of citizenship is going to come up. If we acknowledge that the AI has all the abilities of a human brain, should it not be considered a human citizen? Or just not citizen. Is it not, in the legal sense of the word, a person, and thus a potential citizen? But where do you draw the line, some people will object. Will the great apes become citizens? Elephants? Whales? The more intelligent parrot species. It's crazy, they'll say. I would remind these people that we live in a society in which a corporation, the abstract entity as one can imagine, is considered a person. So it's not like there's no precedent for a non-human being, for a non-human being a person. At least an artificial intelligence is an actual thinking being, not just a business arrangement. But perhaps we do need to question the definition of personhood. Increasing amounts of evidence regarding the intelligence of elephants, or the existence of culture among whales, for example, could be a sign that we need to answer some difficult questions. Who better to debate these questions with this than the genius who revolutionized the garbage book? You must consider these riddles, the Sphinx said. Wait, what's this again? Athena dot... Or sorry, Athena ain't dot text. And tell me the riddle that I did not reveal. <coughs> The Sphinx smiled, the gears in her jaw creaking, her teeth a nightmare of rust. Her left eye flickered, but none of its terror was diminished. The ruins were silent. The error. I think she finally said, the riddle you did not reveal is this. Why do these riddles exist in the first place? Why do these curious automatons, these mute children of Hephaestus, behave as they do, forcing me to devise these intricate solutions? Each is a riddle, but the greater riddle is the purpose. Sphinx did not answer. Her eye was lifeless now. Athena removed it from its socket, knowing that its power would aid her, yet feeling also a deep sorrow at the passing of this fearful creature. Interesting. I'm surprised as a robot I'm not taking damage from all of this. Anything hidden? Ooh, what's this? Oh. Oh. I'm going to go with this one. Nice. Certification program. Oh, that's what. Oh, interestingly enough, that is actually my brother's gamer tag. Um, hi, Zach. I just found your message. Woo! Or Zaxus. 
I should say. Not Zax. Zaxus. Apparently I left a message here too? What? There's a couple of places in this game where it's been like, oh yeah, you left the message and I'm just like... I don't think so. Things to do with boxes, huh? I'll explore the outer right, uh, region first before I get into the inners. But my god, the rain is just gorgeous. Mustn't cross the streams. Yeah, I know that, that's for sure. Going over the fence. first read about the Talos Principle. I think it disturbed me at the time, made me hyper aware of my body as a physical object, the material reality of the brain, ideas that made me uncomfortable at first, but I think in the long run, it helped me understand how frail human beings are and how precious. It's not a comforting way of thinking about the world, but I'd rather face the truth than lie to myself. Hmm. I wonder how young some people are when they had to come to grips with their mortality. Some people, they, they end up growing up young, like, or they grow up, they become older at, well, while they're young, if that makes sense. You know what, I'm going to start at the second door. I'm going to trace my way around, just to see if there's anything hidden. Which one of the looks of it, there's not. I think this is, like, everything that's out here in the main area. There's no hidden switches, there's no... I hope there's no hidden switches. Like, I know some people who, like, they grew up too fast because of their circumstances, whether they were, like, sick or friends of theirs died, like, while they were still in high school, and just, like, there's a lot of stuff that they can, like, really make you aware of your humanity. I kind of wonder, like, for a lot of people, when does that actually happen? Behind this tree? Okay. As far as I can see, there's nothing hidden, so that's... that's good, at least. Which means unless there's something, like, around the pillars that are here, I'm good. I think I should be good. Fuck, this is a gorgeous... this is gorgeous rain, like... You know what, I need to get into the level. You know what, screw it. Hi. Things to do with boxes. I did unlock boxes. So. Oh. That needs to be read. It should be somewhere. Oh.
That's one way to do it. Cool, that's great. I probably will need that at some point. Actually, fuck it, let's just... Boom. Why do I feel like that's going to make this a hell of a lot easier? I'm a sheep. I'm assuming there's nothing else hidden here. Uh, L1. L1. I do not understand why the Zen has put such flaws in the world that appears almost everywhere damaged. But I must believe that there is a purpose here I cannot see. Probably not. Oh man, I'm so glad I found that switch though, because that would have driven me absolutely fucking bonkers. If I could see the gate with the star, and I wasn't able to, like, do anything. That would have been just, no. That's why you get rid of one of them. Um. They can discern some kind of pattern in the sigils. Each color serves a different purpose. Elohim has us gathering them all, but perhaps he's being overzealous. I would love to gather them all. So is there anything hidden behind here? I mean, probably not, but... I'm still going to check it out. Just in case. Hey, there's the other star. That was easy. I guess now we don't need to look for secret areas unless there's any hidden easter eggs in this game that I'm not aware of. Well, the hidden can read this. One of his flock is in need of aid. You've already overcome this trial. <laughs> I guess at this point it's just puzzles. Going over the fence now. Box and beam.
So I know that's an issue there. Which means... Nope, stop it. Stop. Easy. Um, guess we go this way. Mustn't cross the streams. Mustn't cross the streams. Some of these puzzles are actually kind of self explanatory. Easy. Like, actually easy. One little buzzer. Easy. Just gotta block the buzzer. Well, apparently now I can not only get into tower... Or out of tower A, but I can get into tower B. Is that it? Oh. More beeps. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Hey, you. Yeah, sure. Let's leave the reply. The account certification program diagnostic has been performed, no errors reported. Um, create new admin account. Yes. Your issues with denial will be appended to your user profile. Further attempts to overwrite certification results will be logged. Okay. That did absolutely nothing. Hmm. So we have number six and number seven left. Oh my god. It's getting juicy. It really is. I like this. This, this is like nice brain teasers that are like... Yeah. It's magnificent. Magnifico. It's just, it's great. Uh, I'm wondering as well, what's behind this wall here? Whoa! Should I be as freaked out by this right now, like, as I am?
Oh, Jesus Christ, his face. My God, Dean. Dark, darky, darky. Did I just find a hidden developer map? Damien. Nathan Mini Me. I'm baffled. The music, though, just changed. It's so serene. Invalid encoding. God, like I am I'm blown away. Ooh, what's this? Words are wind. Requiescat in passe. Elohim better not brave a beer. I shall solve the mysteries of this land of Elohim. Struck time spec sec. So ronry. So ronry. Rawring and everything. There is no spoon. Of course you go for a fucking Matrix reference. The Zed sigils are evil. Words, if properly interpreted, are the tools of eternal enlightenment. Vegetation shader still lacks vegetation. Or shading. Or any linguistical combination of the previous two words. He gotta live forever after all. Took the frogs and the rocks and the trees and crystal and all the other persons with them too. What the serpent won't tell you is that love is the essence of humanity. Don't listen to the voice or I shall or I will taste you. You rush a miracle man, you get rotten miracles. We know far less than we think we do. That's true. A thousand words are no match for a good fight. Oh, hey there, Mario. Sorry I broke that puzzle, or broke that puzzle again. Arra! I'm Heavy Trigger Guy. This is my trigger. My trigger. 
<laughs> it's funny. It's one of the fucking anime profile pictures, though. For he will forever be the forum cat. Meow, 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 meow. Where there's smoke, they pinch back. So these robot thingy jobbies are just basically the developers' faces on the robots, it looks like. And they're kind of programmed to run in a circuit. Which is kind of cool. I like that concept. It's terrifying. Admir. The Shepherd. Samsara. Recording. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I think this is supposed to be something I find later on in, in life, but... I'm just gonna go ahead and brag. I just found the dev room on accident. Not even a dev room, just a credits room. I like that, the fact that they just do... Oh, look at that. Cool. Also, whoever made this music deserves, like, the utmost praise, because this is beautiful piano music. That was, like, the weirdest thing to stumble in upon. It's just, I mean, I guess the wall is a different color, but... Just nobody would think to be like, oh, look, here's a wall, let's... You know, I like fucking with things. But anyway, we're gonna come back to this next time, because I, I got another video I want to do. The next one of this series. So I've done number four, I've done number five. We're moving on to number six, then seven, and then we're out of this world. Actually, we're probably gonna go over to that sigil room and solve that, too. But hey... Number six should be short. Short, sweet, and to the point. There are four puzzles, and I think I saw one star on the door. Yeah, four puzzles, one star. Cool. To the next one. Ad Astra, to the stars.